it's uh, like a training uh, session, uh, replay review, review uh, Night Elf against Undead. Um, so we will check um, the meta strategy, the most uh, popular strategy nowadays. So you see screen, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, map is uh, springtime, uh, but uh, never mind uh, what map you play. Uh, first uh, of all, you will start with. Uh, I suggest to start with green points because uh, there are some maps uh, when you want to start with orange. For example, on this map you can start with orange, but uh, it's always uh, risky and uh, can be greedy because uh, if uh, undead hero DK uh, will come, so he can uh, stop your creep and uh, kill and uh, make some kills and take experience. So orange uh, creeping is good uh, when your opponent uh, never scout. So if you play with a uh, player who don't use uh, any scout, uh, it's possible to creep like mercenary camp or gold mine. But uh, I suggest you like the safe, uh, the most uh, safe option to always uh, creep green camp. Yeah, so if you don't know the opponent, you just do green camp. Yes, uh, if you play a few times uh, uh, and uh, your opponent uh, not make scout, so you can try to creep greedy camp. But yeah, I always suggest uh, play safe and uh, creep uh, green camp also give you opportunity to stop undead expand if he decide to play and it's a very popular opening nowadays with DK double sacrificial school. So with green camp you will be always uh, ready to contest and stop uh, greedy expand but if you yeah start with orange so how, how not... would you see it if somebody fast expo like i think a lot of night elf they're really worried about undead fast expo so how when do you send the wisp to scout it and then do you just pick up the item and run over uh yes uh y usually you send wisp uh, the uh like uh that build easier, 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 Easiest way uh, to remember uh, just after altar, but uh, yeah, professional players uh, like Asia, Asia Night Elf, uh, they send uh, when they have uh, 15 supply. Yeah. Like you have uh, three wisp on lumber, and uh, your fourth wisp uh, go to scout. So this this one uh, give you perfect timing uh, before uh, DK come from altar. Uh, so uh, this wisp, uh, so yeah, first uh, this uh, creep, so you decide uh, which point you will creep first. It's the most important. Uh, later uh, it's a uh, scout. So you send wisp and uh, uh, this game, uh, the Chinese player Keho, he didn't uh, uh, make a scout uh, because uh, I think he expect and maybe play before against uh, this undead. So he is sure that it's like meta strategy with double ziggurat. But uh, ideally you need uh, to come to undead base, check um, double ziggurats or not. Or if it's one ziggurat, it can be like very fast tech. It means that undead will play very passive and you can just creep very fast. And if uh, double ziggurat, it's mean like mass ghouls at start, and it can be expand. So yeah, nowadays is most popular two ziggurats. Can it be a rush but, also if it's two ziggurat? Yeah, and uh, it can be a rush. So need uh, to check this one if it's a ghoul or fiend uh, build order because with fiend uh, and it uh, make a graveyard. So after you check it, uh, you need. Uh, also uh, get uh, which direction Undead will choose. Will he start SU with a green or he will immediately go uh, to gold mine? And you can see that without losing your wisp? Uh, yes, yes, you can see uh, every map uh, there's some special position. Uh, for example, on this map, uh, you can like take this wisp and uh, use uh, this tree to check like if uh, DK will go to green so you can 
go to this position and see if he, if he creep green or not, or check if uh, DK go to harass you, or if he go to expand. And if you put it on the street, cannot die? Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, to not uh, get uh, wisp die, uh, you need. Uh, I suggest to use uh, uh, separate uh, hotkey, control bind, and uh, be careful. And if you see DK uh, try to like hit you and uh, do coil, you need just immediately st step away, go, go away. So you you really need a good reaction and not uh, lose your wisp. But even uh, you will lose your wisp, uh, you can check uh, are under attack. Uh, before uh, inventory. Yeah. If it's uh, like if it's a double sacrificial school, it's uh, like uh, a very high chance uh, expand by undead. Yeah. So even you lose uh, your wisp, uh, you can try to play aggressive. But yeah, uh, this wisp is very important. So. Can we check uh, with night elf vision? I think when, when I recall tutorial, I like that a lot to see the player, like yeah, how how he's Our thinking and stuff. Have engaged the enemy. Yeah, so this game, uh, Keho, he one hundred percent expect uh, that Undead will creep this point. But uh, anyway, he checked uh, inventory, so now he sees that it's a sacrificial school, and uh, probably it will be this uh, creep, green creep. And uh, this is uh, no standard uh, situation because uh, usually Undead uh, make skeleton safe. And uh, one skeleton go to Wisp harass, uh, try to zone Wisp and one to creep. But uh, <clears throat> uh, this Night Elf uh, did it great because uh, he stopped uh, fast creep for Undead and he already seen uh, what's uh, happened. Like that Undead... Uh, will creep the green camp. Your building is complete. So, uh, about Night Elf creep. Uh, you can creep a whole uh, green with two trends and after move to middle. And if you play really good, uh, you can use, I call it uh, distance creep. Uh, just leave one Ancients of War and Archer to finish this camp and uh, with Keeper go to middle. So this map... Uh, you can creep uh, middle with uh, keeper easy easily, so that's why he uses creep root like first green, second green, and at start your goal is uh, to get keeper level two. It's provide you uh, good uh, stats, good mana region, yeah, and, uh... and uh, two items. It's very important, and uh, you need to, to notice why a keeper, for for example, why uh, Night Elf uh, stopped to play Demon Hunter, play Keeper. That Keeper a uh, very high tempo hero with summons, so it means that, uh, for example, Demon Hunter can stack with level one against mass ghoul ghouls uh, with undead, but uh, Keeper will get uh, level two very fast. Yeah, and, and uh... it's just. Sorry, yes. sorry, go ahead. Just give you a better tempo. Yeah. At start. And uh, I would love to hear like in details about the exact build order. Like what number of supply do you take at? How many archers do you make and all of that? Uh, so uh, it's uh, easy to uh, remember and uh, understand. Uh, so first part, uh, like it's early game build, uh, you get uh, nine wisps. It's a 21, 30 supply. Uh, yeah, so if you lost uh, one wisp, uh, your scout wisp, you need to get another one. And yeah, uh, in general, in this strat, you need nine wisps. And after it's, you get, you uh, wait uh, for three, 320 gold and uh, 180 lumber and uh, start your tier two. He, so he has more than nine wisps, no? No, he, he nine wisps, one archer, one archer, and yeah, three, three, uh, eight, and uh, where is one, one more? Here. 
So he, he, he sent another scout. It's also important detail. Like if you lose your scout wisp, you need to send another one. Okay, so nine lumber wisps is the minimum. Our warriors have engaged yeah, enemy. this is a correct number because uh, this air threat, uh, you don't need uh, to have a hunter's hall. Yeah. And fairy dragons uh, later, uh, they cost uh, low lumber. Okay. But if you like, play, like to play drides, so it must be 10 wisps. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the next uh, part of game, it's uh, harassment. So, there are actually uh, two ways how to play. You can play uh, aggressive, uh, like uh, this night elf uh, do, or passive. Passive means you continue to creep, like after middle you can go next point, uh, get uh, keeper 2 and 5, and later, for example, this one, and get level 3. Uh, but... Uh, most uh, night elf on high level they don't like uh, that undead uh, creep with skeletons and mass ghouls. It's uh, very like uh, fast tempo, so they don't like uh, to provide undead uh, creep, for example, very fast, uh, faster than night elf. Or like uh, it's not good for night elf uh, if uh, they're same tempo, like DK get level three and keeper get level three. So, if you're sure that uh, you can get Keeper level 3 faster, you're supposed to creep. If you, if you think, uh, for example, uh, Keho, he sees that there's sacrificial school, so he worries that it can be uh, expand later. So he can play, he, he wants to play aggressively, not allow Undead uh, to creep this expo, for example. And uh, good... Uh, a good situation for this night elf because uh, behind he can set up a uh, tree of life. Yeah. And uh, now he makes scout, so he is sure that uh, this expo in safe position. And do you have so, rules about bringing archers across the map? Like when can you bring archers or when should you not bring archers across the map? Yeah, the rule, uh, you need uh, to bring archer if uh, undead, for example, start to creep greedy. So you can uh, bring your archer to this position. But I am not suggest uh, to uh, go with your archer too close to DK because unholy aura is very strong. So he can catch uh, one, two archers easily. So yeah, I suggest uh, keep distance uh, if undead not creep. So only bring archer if undead <clears throat> start to creep, for example. So <clears throat> Keho checked uh, if they're expo or not, like uh, expo creep. So undead uh, decides to go <clears throat> downside of map. And then how many archers do you stop at? Uh, usually, you uh, in this build, uh, you need uh, four archer, then buy a staff of teleportation, and then build a tree of life. <clears throat> uh, yeah, is, is there like a, a greedy build or safe build? Safe build, it uh, means that you build uh, three moon wells before expand. Because uh, sometimes if you make a greedy tree of life before uh, moon wells 3, like Undead can go to your base and uh, rush you, and two moon walls not enough. But in this game, uh, this uh, Chinese night, night Elf player played uh, Risky, so he played two moon walls expand, but I suggest play three moon walls. Uh, uh, buy Staff of Teleportation for Archers, make sure that Undead uh, far away from your base, and only then uh, make expand. And uh, the like, uh, this expands uh, too early, he built uh, too early, because uh, there's special uh, nature blessing timing. Uh, it means that uh, it gives your Tree of Life a speed the enemy. for middle game. And then now, uh, I think a lot of Night Elves, maybe they would be scared of Undead leveling more, but he went to creep. Is it because he know he can't yeah, really because, stop the creeping? Uh, 
Yeah, no, because uh, he lost uh, his uh, position. So now, now Night Elf uh, have no idea where is Undead. So, yeah, sometimes uh, you get a situation where you lost your opponent, uh, you don't know where is DK, but uh, yeah, probably he uh, like went uh, downside of map. But if you lost this moment, so he decides to creep. It's like it's better to creep uh, than just running and try to find somewhere undead. So if you have opportunity, yes, you need to be close uh, for undead, not allow him to creep level 3 DK. But this game, uh, this Night Elf uh, lost his position, so he started uh, to creep level 3. Yeah. And uh, you see Undead uh, know where is Night Elf, so he creep uh, like very safe. He don't uh, worry about Keeper nearby. Our warriors have engaged the your building is complete. So now uh, tier 2 finishes. Uh, finishes. And uh, in tier two, we make uh, we make uh, nature blessing upgrade. It give movement speed for this tree of life. But you see, uh, in this game, uh, this night elf uh, built uh, this tree of life uh, too fast, so this upgrade is not ready yet. Yeah, but uh, if he would have made the tree later. Oh, you mean like when the tree starts moving, he should have the upgrade ideally. Yeah, yeah, the best timing uh, when uh, Nature Blessing finish, uh, so Tree of Life also finish. Yeah. So it means that, yeah, better to build always three Moon Walls than Tree of Life. Okay. Uh, so it will be in, in time. And uh, now uh, he uses uh, Tier 2 build. Uh, he order Demon Hunter and Engines of Wind. So it's our uh, Tier 2 units. What, what if there might be Gargoyles here? <clears throat> yeah, ideally you need uh, to scout, so you have al always you have wisp. So now it's uh, like middle game started. It's like uh, five minutes after your f tier two done. Uh, you can just uh, send wisp to check uh, what uh, what is uh, built for undead. So you're yeah. totally correct. Uh, so if uh, now wisp sees tier three, it's mean. Uh, like triple hero late uh, push or expand with triple heroes and probably fins with uh, statues or mass ghouls with statues yeah something well, like that why not have a wisp here at the lab and then you just use 50 gold and use revelation and you can see everything yeah it's a uh, as option usually yeah usually you don't uh, want to waste uh, 50 gold because it's uh, all about uh, timing and uh, make your, you know, production in, in correct time. And uh, I think he worried to send Wisp because they're aggressive in the Rook Tower to check. Yeah, uh, Yeah. so, but, but in, in this case, yeah, you are right. Uh, so he can just accurate use Wisp to check uh, this position or even send one trend. But yeah, ideally, somehow you need uh, to scout what Undead plays. And in middle game, uh, you need to realize what is your task at this stage. So your task is setup expand. So like uh, first part of game, uh, your task was uh, not allow DK to creep level three or okay or or creep uh, also level three. So situation now three against three, but um, expansion uh, done successfully. So I think early game is normal for Night Elf. Uh, he didn't choose yet a Tango level two. Is that normal? Uh, yeah, by the way, um, it's uh, good uh, because uh, he still haven't scout. He still haven't scout and uh, he not. Uh, have any idea maybe it's tier 2 expand so he saves this uh, skill point for trans so if it's the it tier 2 expand he will go trans level 2 against everything else he will go at tango level 2 yes no no uh, by the way i uh, i suggest uh, i don't know i i prefer uh, to play always trans really 
because, yeah, because uh, it's nature blessing upgrade and trends uh, with this upgrade really strong. Uh, if you want to harass undead or creep, yeah. uh, the problem the problem with entangle and usual night elf play with entangle, uh, they're a coil. It's a counter skill. Like if you entangle ghoul, it's uh, decay. He has a coil to heal up. Uh, so it's a problem with uh, entangle. Yeah. Uh, but uh, in some situation, uh, in some situation, it uh, can can be helpful. But uh, I prefer trends because you know, uh, like uh, this night elf can use trends now, uh, like make uh, three trends, yeah. and like uh, fifteen seconds later make another three trends, and with uh, this upgrade, like six six trends. Plus five archer, it's very good uh, and fast tempo in your middle game. And uh, idea is uh, to create you you have time uh, because uh, night elf always have tier two faster than undead. Uh, you have time to creep it uh, before lich come, lich comes. Yeah. So it's main idea like six trends, five archer, demon hunter, creep uh, gold mine. And one DK um, actually, yeah, he can catch one creep, but it's still not enough. So that's why I don't like Entangle. But in this game, uh, this uh, Night Elf player, he will use Entangle. And uh, when tier 2 finished, how many Wisps did he make? Uh, yeah, ideally you need uh, plus one. Okay. So you, you spend uh, three, four buildings and it's uh, disappear. So you lost uh, three wisp. So nine minus six, it's uh, uh, nine minus three, it's six, and you add uh, additional one, so you need like seven. Yeah. And then if you lose a wisp on the map, you always replace Your that. Building is complete. Our warriors have. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, you you need uh, at least uh, seven wisps in this threat. Uh, oh. Or, or, or not, not uh, six, six. I think okay. six you need. And when do you because, make? Uh, yeah, because I forgot. I forgot that uh, one uh, built a tree of life, so yeah, it's yeah. Uh, nine minus four, and uh, you built plus one, so six wisp, uh, and uh, you need uh, six uh, hippo, f five hippo hippo riders, and uh, three fairies, like like that. Okay. I like that he gave the items to the DH. Yeah, by the way, uh, about uh, item management, uh, all items like uh, for armor and attack, uh, better to give uh, Demon Hunter, and all items for mana, it's better to give a Keeper. Yeah. Because usually DH uh, is your carry and tank. So now uh, it's time to creep a uh, gold mine, but uh, as I told before, uh, I think uh, trends better because uh, six trends uh, he could uh, start uh, it already. But uh, and it uh, by time uh, for his lich, so lich is coming, so it's very dangerous timing for night elf. And and you see uh, one entangle. Uh, like, did uh, not a big impact here. Yeah. yeah. So much yeah, so the problem, so without trends, uh, you start uh, to creep it late and undead uh, able to make this uh, middle game harass. So it's only a uh, thing that you can worry in this threat that undead uh, will come and kill your keeper, for example. But if, if the situation happen, you always have Staff of Teleportation. So if you meet uh, Undead with uh, Coil and Nova, you can immediately use Staff of Teleportation and use your Moonwalls to and heal up. Now he's going to lose TP, no? Although he's about uh, to be burnt. No. Yes. Uh, yeah, but he has the I mana stealing. Uh, he can Coil and force TP, no? Yeah, Undead made mistake. I think it was maybe cooldown. And he he is he saw that uh, Moonwell oh, close. Yeah. So. Our have 
We lost. And if you lose an archer or two here, you always replace them because you need five hippos with archers, right? No. Uh, usually, uh, you not replace. You just uh, make uh, fairy dragons. Yeah. Uh, because it's uh, like uh, you need to move your ancients of war to creep at this stage. So y y you want uh, to have more hippo riders, but unfortunately, you need to uh, like uh, keep your fast tempo. Oh, so yeah. usually, professional night elf use uh, this uh, timing for ancients of war to creep. Uh, and uh, the idea about archers, uh, why uh, Night Elf started to play Mass Air, because uh, Hippo Griff uh, provides more HP. You see now it's 780 compared to 255. So if you play Dryads, uh, usually you have four very weak archers in late game, and uh, Ghouls uh, will just eat, eat them. Uh, but with hippo, hippogriffs, uh, hippo riders, uh, it uh, gives you opportunity to save this archer and make uh, some good, uh, uh, very high HP unit, air unit. So that's because this strategy is uh, very strong. And uh, one more thing, uh, if uh, undead come and tr can he he won't. Uh, for example, to kill your archer, you can save it by Hippo. So it's very cool. Um, very cool unit. So after you set up Expo, uh, your goal is uh, to... Your goal is and task next uh, to creep your Demon Hunter to level 3, because uh, you need to prepare to late game uh, push by Undead. The strongest side of Undead is uh, Orb of Corruption. This orb uh, decrease, uh, reduce your uh, armor. Yeah. And uh, in late game, uh, undead heroes very strong. So Demon Hunter is uh, main uh, carry and uh, counter counter hero because uh, he has a very strong uh, mana burn. So if undead uh, haven't uh, mana, it's very weak. And how, uh, how does it work with Wisps now? Do you use some of the wood Wisps you send to the gold at the expo, or do you make all new Wisps? Yeah, you, you make new Wisps. You Only. make new Wisps? Yes. Okay. The enemy. So usually I even uh, order uh, two Wisps uh, from my main tree and three Wisps uh, from uh, Expand, yeah. because uh, there's some delay, and you, you can't uh, like order fast five Wisps. There will be delay, so I use uh, double trees uh, to order wisps. But he has so much wood right now. Couldn't he use two of the wisps from the wood and then make three of the expo? Mm, no, I think uh, he he has uh, so much wood. Uh, maybe uh, he ordered uh, like uh, extra wisp because in this strat you need uh, six. Yeah. So he he has seven. So. And you see, uh, like, uh, supply must be, like, uh, one wisp, uh, four, so it will be 49. Yeah. So, so you know what I mean. So your supply always need to be, uh, like... Uh, even, an even number, even, not an even. E e e even number. Our yeah. warriors have Why did you not pull back the keeper here? Uh, yeah, it's a mistake. Uh, it's a basic mistake sometimes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I I if you want to play your best, uh, you need like uh, make two trends, provide uh, Demon Hunter all experience uh, to get level 3 as fast as possible, and, for example, move Keeper to Scout. So at this, uh, at this stage, uh, Keeper is supposed to check, like be in this position, check what happened, like under script mercenary camp or maybe expand. And w when do you want to buy stuff of preservation? Uh, stuff of uh, preservation, uh, it's not necessary to have it in middle game. So usually I uh, buy it uh, in late game before under uh, rush. Like it's it's not necessary to buy it fast, but of course yeah. if your keeper keeper somehow. Uh, for example, you escape from Coil Nova. You you made uh, like not good scout, and he catch you up, and uh, 
you miss uh, coil nova back to your uh, main base so you can just buy it because you're on main base but it's not necessary the idea is uh, that in middle game uh, you need to be faster than undead and use your teleport once you need to go to his main base because you see there uh, you, because you have uh, air units so you can attack uh, behind and uh, snipe one or two acolytes for example and and that uh, he play without teleport it's very greedy and you need to buy some time for your expo because it's still not ready and you haven't income so once uh, you get your demon hunter to level three but unfortunately in this game uh, this player uh, taken all xp to keeper so you attack uh, once uh, his main make him back and uh, buy some time to go 60 supply so it's your late goal uh, like make a big uh, air army your building is but uh, yeah for some reason uh, he decided uh, to attack so it's also option how to buy time like attack and it but uh, you can attack only if uh, there like no web and uh, destroyer upgrade so he understands uh, the timing that there are no destro so he can use his entangle level 2 but but i think it's uh, a bit uh, overextend here because uh, if uh, fins uh, use web it's a tough position for night elf so ideally you need uh, to go with teleport to his uh, undead main base so night elf uh, taken this fight uh, too early Shouldn't the staff of teleportation be on the demon, by the way? We can double staff. Yeah, yeah. Ideally, you need to to give uh, teleport staff of teleportation to demon hunter. And then when then the fairy dragon gets webbed, you just with, uh, what do you call it, feral form or whatever. Yeah, fairy dragon. It's a very a strong unit against statues because. Uh, this uh, unit uh, can use uh, mana flare yeah. uh, and it's very strong because it gives extra damage counter uh, damage and uh, plus armor so this fight uh, was uh, good for night elf for some reasons uh, because uh, i think undead uh, not uh, get uh, naga in time and uh, dk uh, maybe not use uh, end of mana stealing yeah i think uh, and it uh, made this fight not well and how do you manage moonstone if you have uh, moon wells need juice like during day you always use moonstone or how, how do you decide yeah this item's very strong uh, when you're keeper or team hunter and main base you always buy it it's cheap and yeah when you have expo so by the way uh so uh night elf uh, hold it this push like uh, usually uh undead come to your expand position and their final fight started but uh, yeah uh, this game uh not not ideal uh, and uh, night elf stopped uh undead so now uh what do what uh, he can do he can go to main base because still he have teleport to kill acolytes or just creep and uh, you don't need to attack and it until he come to your expo because now you two bases against one so you just uh, play defensively you don't need to like uh, find and it to take fight you need just to wait when do you make the hunter soul uh after uh, your gold mine start uh, after you mining start to mining uh, you have uh, extra gold for like uh, late uh, building it's a uh, hunter's hall and uh, two moon wells for 70 supply yeah. and after your uh, hunter's hall finish uh, you make uh, upgrade because uh, fairy dragon's low dps and uh, now you can see that oh, it's like a late game fight uh, so idea is uh, to wait until undead uh, take this position and you need attack uh, behind 
So it's the best uh, like tactic uh, tactic position. Yeah, because now if a fiend comes in from behind, he can't catch it. Or even the statue is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, but in this game, the problem is that uh, Night Elf forgot uh, to set up uh, Ancients of War here yeah. to have uh, like more trees uh, and it's very powerful defense. So it's a big mistake. But yeah, this position gives you opportunity to catch Fiend or Statue uh, and uh, you can attack behind and it's very hard uh, for Undead to move uh, Fiend uh, back. Uh, very kill the important. TP, right? uh, yeah, in this game, uh, Undead uh, will kill Expo, but yeah, he haven't teleport. Uh, yeah, he killed Expo because of this Ancients of War uh, was in bad position. But ideally, uh, you just take a good fight. So first mana burn uh, DK. So after he without mana, you can focus statue. It's your priority. Prioritize, and uh, after you can. Entangle Fiend, because they are Frost Armor, so like make uh, Destroyer use uh, Dispel this Frost Armor, or or, or take uh, two Wisp, but it's hard uh, sometimes to do. Yeah. And wh when do you want to staff the Demon? I think you don't want to staff last second, right? You think about staffing when he's quarter hit points already, or...? Yeah, you can stuff last second. Uh, usually, Demon Hunter uh, like not uh, get uh, uh, hard focus because of items. And on level three, he is very tanky and uh, usually under uh, focus air units or try to snipe keeper. So for keeper, you buy always uh, invul potion. And yeah, but yeah, it's uh, depend of items. If you have some. Uh, heal potion, so you don't uh, need to afraid about uh, demon hunter because undead usually just focus air, and you always have like invul potion and stuff. So you need uh, to buy maybe one heal potion for keeper, and uh, if possible one potion for demon hunter like that. Like uh, items uh, to provide uh, health. Yeah. So imagine if uh, like Undead not kill this uh, tree, like idle game. So Undead back and you still uh, mining. And so your goal is uh, just uh, continue to make uh, air and just creep. You don't need to rush. And if you have so many air units like this and Undead only has three heroes and like two spiders, you target units first or heroes? Yeah, you always uh, try to target uh, statues and then uh, fins or naga because uh, third hero naga uh, he can't use coil so and demon hunter very strong against naga so usually it's very hard to kill leech uh, because uh, they're in will potion and coil and hard to kill dk because uh, it's tank and uh, yeah very hard to kill this this two but uh, yeah, if a destroyer deep uh, in your air, like a very greedy destroyer position, you can snipe him. Okay. And then important is to buy a scroll as well, right? Because uh, he had one scroll earlier. Yeah, one scroll, it's uh, always good. And you see, uh, he made uh, this uh, push but uh, too late, but finally he realized that uh, Undead uh, haven't a teleport, so not only now Undead bought a teleport, but uh, Night Elf uh, will have enough time to make uh, good harassment. And then when you get the Hunter Soul, you get plus one and plus two attack, right? Yes, yes. It's uh, for for late game. It's your uh, goal. Uh, so for late game, you need to provide your heroes uh, good items, uh, keep uh, creep, and uh, make uh, upgrades. So ideally, it's supposed to be two O. To attack upgrades uh, for increase your damage and uh, seventy supply air units. 
Our warriors have yeah, in this game, uh, this night elf uh, didn't uh, get it because uh, he lost his tree, but yeah, ideally needs 70 supply. Yeah, and he just keep creep and wait until undead come again. And what if undead managed to counter expo? Would you attack into the expo or into the main or try to catch him on the map? Yeah, that's a different uh, scenario. Uh, so if undead uh, go to expo, uh, you can uh, try to attack uh, his base once try to buy time and uh, as i told before uh, trade your teleport so it's obvious that if undead uh, expand so it means that he not uh, use uh, nega as third hero so his army not strong and uh, yeah you you can uh, like he, he need uh, to defense and be at uh, two points same yeah. time so you can uh, once uh, attack uh, and cancel this gold mine by some time and it's easy to do you just use your air to attack behind and snipe this gold mine and like uh, come with keeper and demon hunter and just press teleport and after uh, it's the same like you need to have 60 supply and uh, it's a different uh, scenario you not uh, defense you you started to play like uh, aggressive attack because you don't want uh, to let undead uh, make this expo yeah and uh, what if you can't scout well? You know, the game is going really bad, you lose your wisps, and then you can't scout, you go for this build, and then you realize it's gargoyles. What do you do then? Uh, and uh, there already expo, you mean? No, 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 there is no expo, it's one base gargoyles. Okay, so against uh, gargoyles, it's the uh, same. Uh, <clears throat> like, uh, you, but uh, you just make uh, hippogriffs without uh, archer. Without like hippo riders, you just make uh, hippogriffs and archers and uh, mass trends. So it's very hard for undead uh, to stop it. Okay. And then your goal will still be to get to 60 or 70 supply. Yeah, yeah. Your goal is uh, to have uh, counter air to counter garks. And with two bases, you just play <clears throat> with uh, <clears throat> a unit advantage, up upgrades advantage. Yeah. <clears throat> Just as way too much. He's not going for the statues, though. You see? It's mistake, uh, yeah. Huh? No, no, no. Uh, he he just checked uh, that there are no mana. Yeah, it's okay to catch Fint uh, if uh, there are no frost armor, you know, and uh, no mana for DK. Uh, like a. Uh, you can uh, change your position. It's not uh, it's not necessary to like uh, kill the statue. It's uh, far away, and uh, there are no mana, so he can uh, snipe this uh, fiend. But uh, if you attack uh, on this position, for example, and there are mana and fiend with frost armor, it's better to focus statue, like kill statue, and after like less heal, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, but they are just a uh, bad position for Finn, so he just focused because it's very close to him. And he he had now uh, so big uh, supply advantage, so it doesn't matter actually. He just tried to focus uh, uh, not DK and not Leech. <laughs> yeah. And other, other units uh, can. Okay, so yeah, uh, first uh, slide it's about scout. So you check build uh, what hero in in very important inventory. You check inventory. Like if there are no teleport, teleports he sold his teleport. It can be expand. So you can think about to play hunters hall instead of tier two and play huntresses rush. Uh, or if he play standard, you play archers. So. If you play archers, uh, you uh, play like uh, you need uh, to make your tier two very fast because it depends uh, how fast you will get your demon hunter, and uh, you need to creep uh, one point uh, with your demon hunter before leech come. 
it's yeah. very important so if you miss a tier 2 timing it's a, like basic mistake i sometimes do it against very strong handed players because of tyrant for example so it's a bad because uh, he get uh, opportunity to creep jack with a dk and leech so it's very important nine with plumber and tier 2 240 uh, fast tier 2 then you decide how to play like if you like to play like uh, very like you like aggressive style you can play keeper 2 not allow D dk creep to level 2 uh, if you haven't skill to play aggressively you just uh, play you can you can you want to play just calm uh, not uh, fast so you can you just try to creep level three keeper it's also good because yeah. uh, your goal in, in mid game to get uh, keeper level three ideally not provide a dk level three like three keeper against a dk level two it it's mean like you win early game if it's a level three dk and level three keeper it's still okay uh, then you need uh, with mass trends to uh, uh, up your tempo in middle game so middle game started uh, after your tier 2 finish so before uh, there are very important uh, pictures uh, so basic build order in this strategy so it's all you need to know about this build and strat uh, you built uh, first uh, moonwell 3 it's provide you uh, against uh, DK Ghouls Rush. Uh, and safety, and, I guess. Uh, and uh, later uh, you buy stuff of teleportation, it provides you like mobility. You can uh, move your keeper, whatever you want, like to Creepjack or back to Moonwells to re regenerate your mana and uh, HPs. And uh, you play uh, four archers, and after you build expand, like after you order four archer, it's it's enough. And by stuff, it's uh, your next uh, goal to build tree of life. You will have enough resource resources for that. If you not uh, lose uh, some wisps, and after five archer. Uh, so, so before you take, how many archers do you have? Uh, before you take, uh, like two. Okay, so you have two archers, and then you start tech, then you get two more archers. Or you get one more archer, then you get Staff of Teleportation, then one more archer. Because like now the way you wrote, you know, some people might think you buy Staff of Teleportation, then you make four more archers, you know, so... Yeah, okay, so uh, usually it's, it's, very, it's very easy to remember, like... Um, uh, three archer and uh, Moonwell three. So... Like uh, when you order your archer number three, it's yeah. uh, it's third. Uh, you should you write have, third archer, maybe. You you have resource for moonwell, yeah. third moonwell. Uh, after uh, you order four archer, and uh, there uh, similar similar uh, time to buy staff in shop. Yeah. And uh, then you have. Uh, you, you can like uh, always uh, can be it's easy to remember just four ar after four archer uh, you build a tree so three archer moonwell and four archer and three okay and in the end uh, archer number five yeah, the final archer yeah it's like built uh, with uh, details yeah uh, yeah, but three archers, three moonwell, and four archers, staff, and tree of life. So it's like, if you play some games, it's easy to uh, remember. And uh, after mid game start, uh, after five, so your tier two finish, finish it, and uh, you need to immediately uh, order Nation Blessing, then Demon Hunter. Then you wait uh, for Lumber to set up uh, double engines of wind. Uh, uh, after you build uh, one wisp, so in general you need uh, six wisp on Lumber. And later you add uh, Moonwall 4 and Shop. 
So it's all about middle game build order. And uh, where do you make the shop? In the main always or between the main and expo? It depends on the map. Yeah, it's better uh, uh, to make it in the main because when you staff your keeper and or use your staff of uh, reservation, it's uh, you, you better sh make have shop uh, on uh, main. Yeah. Because it's uh, you can buy it uh, immediately potion or mana region or uh, moonstone. So I'm not a big fan to build a shop uh, like between uh, exp and main yeah. in this thread. When you play Dryads, uh, it's okay to build uh, at expand. But on this thread, a shop is very important because if Undead uh, will kill it, if Undead uh, get opportunity to kill your shop, it means that uh, you can't uh, produce fairy dragons. So the safest place in, in the main. Uh, later, uh, your task is set up expand and defense, and uh, maybe not allow DK to kill archers. Very important. So sometimes you just uh, use uh, only trends and move your archer back if you see leech come. But uh, you're supposed to creep this point uh, before leech uh, come in time. Yeah. Uh, later, uh, after like undead uh, back with DK leash, it means that he back to creep and you go to creep with your engines of war. Get level 3 de uh, demon hunter and move your engines of war back uh, to defense expand. It's very important. Uh, basic mistake, uh, most of night elf forgot to uproot or back engines of war like we checked uh, previous game that night elf forgot to back engines of war for defense uh, so uh, next goal demon hunter need to get level three and uh, you need to uh, buy time once come to undead base and use teleport when do you want to tp when undead comes to defend when you're about to take a lot of damage and lose a lot or you want to tp very no, no, early if, if, if you see that undead uh, come too close and uh, he able to kill your unit or he uh, usually he just uh, use coil nova and it's a signal that you need to use teleport but yeah of course you need uh, to buy maximum time so you can hide your air units uh, like under trees and uh, you sometimes you even can use uh, if you lost teleport for example uh, at early stage you can use double staff and yeah, uh, you know. like move uh, away your air units and just use double stuff to to just uh, go away but it's high, high level <laughs> yeah so just teleport and uh, next goal is uh, to go upkeep and uh, prepare to end the trash if he go to set up expand you can creep uh, additional creep point and uh, have uh, more supply and like um, make attack uh, in good timing when his expo is not ready now when expo is almost finished usually is the best best time to attack because he paid a lot of money but then he didn't get any money back yet right yes and uh, ideally if uh, before uh, you try to buy time or kill kills something like ghouls acolytes on the main or even kill expansion like you, you need a very good uh, one 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 timing attack, and in fight uh, it's uh, the most uh, uh, important uh, that your demon hunter always need to mana burn DK because uh, DK uh, provide uh, coil to fins and uh, and it means that undead army live longer and uh, able to kill your all air units. Uh, try to attack statues if uh, fins with frost armor and uh, DK with full mana. So it's I I, I see no reason attack fint uh, if uh, DK ha has mana, because uh, then fint uh, will tank uh, so much damage with uh, statue heal and uh, unholy aura and coil you know and frost armor. It's uh, very very good for undead then, and need uh, produce uh, units. Not forget to produce a big uh, air army because without a big army, I uh, can't win undead. 
and uh, without uh, gold mine and uh, good economy and expand. So it's all. All right, thank you very much. I will post uh, that on YouTube later. And uh, I think that's a good advertisement for the coaching that you do, right? Because you've been doing coaching. Can you tell us more about it? Like how much do you charge? Uh, are you taking on new students? Uh, yeah, it's uh, individual. So you can come uh, to my Twitch uh, Foggy WC3 and uh, there uh, information about my Discord uh, name. So you can add me on Discord and ask, uh, like, tell me what your goal and we can discuss. And yeah, I provide uh, coaching. Uh, I, I even can uh, coach uh, if you're not Night Elf, but, but uh, you like won't start to play or you just average player. Because uh, I think I have good understanding of uh, basic strategies and like on this game. So yeah, thank you for inviting me. It was my pleasure to <laughs> tell you and for your viewers some secrets about how to play Night Elf. Thank you very much, Foggy. I will put the link to your Discord and your Twitch in the, in the video description. And if you guys want some coaching, then you know where to find Foggy. Go and talk to him. Well, good night, mate. Yes, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.